So at one point, um, there was dispersion in the crowd uh, for about 300 meters all the way down the crowd. There was a Marine for dispersion on, on this side of the canal. And it was like that due to our recommendation of, hey, if there's a bomber in the crowd, and this was four or five days prior uh, to the 26th, you know, we need to, the only thing that's going to fucking protect us is dispersion. I mean, that's one of the first things you're fucking taught is standoff distance uh, from IEDs. And so they had that dispersion for about 300 meters. And someone that morning, someone on the ground, um, I don't know what leader, but someone on the ground decided to okay the collapse of all of that dispersion. And so now that 300 meters of dispersion collapsed down to the base of our tower, right underneath our tower. Are you... Yeah. So there's a suicide bomber threat. You guys PID the suicide bomber. He gets lost in the crowd. And they collapse the standoff? Yeah. From the ID. Yep. Yeah, so they, they collapse the standoff. <clears throat> like I said, they're at the base of our tower. Um, if we looked out the left window across from the neighborhood, there's like another jer two Jersey barriers and then this now bunched up group of a platoon of Marines almost like, and I'll, I'll share the pictures and the videos, but I mean, fucking 20, 30 Marines in one fucking spot. And, uh, it sucks. There's a lot of bad that comes, comes a lot of bad that has occurred in this, but it's shit like that. It's just like that fucking eats at you. It's like, why, why? And uh, we brought it up multiple times, like, hey, who fucking okayed this? Like, why is there not dispersion? It's down here still. Why did you guys fucking collapse your dispersion? That we had, the guys, like Echo Company guys had worked for fucking days to get hours fighting this crowd back just to get this fucking dispersion. They just were like, nope, fuck it, on the morning of the bomb. And uh, so it was majority golf company down there. It was uh, that morning. Yeah, yeah, and it was so immediate feedback. Yeah, because I woke why up. you do not do that. I woke up. Happened. That, yeah, I, I went to I went to sleep at like six a.m. maybe that morning, and I woke up at like fucking eight, and because it was the first time, and we it was like seven days of just constant like rah, 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 like from the crowd, just really fucking loud, just nonstop screaming, people crying, babies fucking sobbing. And there was like a couple of days where it wasn't as loud at the base of our tower. And then uh, I woke up because it was fucking loud again, like really fucking loud right next to our tower. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I looked down and the whole fucking crowd was collapsed. And just hundreds, thousands of people in this small fucking area. Another, another way to show how desperate these people were to escape the fucking tyranny of the Taliban is... Uh, at first people weren't there was like one onesies and twosies coming through this shit water because that's what it was it was a sewage canal and uh, there was like one or two people coming through and then by the 26th I mean there was fucking thousands of people in the sewage water like coming across to to escape and try and get processed through and I mean literally just wading through shit and blood and piss and uh for us, it was a good thing because it was like, okay, they have to cross this canal now to get to us as long as we keep, as long like that crowd that's on the left side is kept at bay. And uh, the gate's already supposed to be shut at this point. It was supposed to be shut that, that morning or something and it's still open. We're still processing people. We were told that it was gonna be shut by the 26th or like the morning of the 26th and it still hadn't been. And now it's almost, it's like 5.30 p.m. or almost 5.30 p.m. and um, 10 minutes goes by and just flash and just get hit with this massive wave of pressure, just like sh straight on. And, uh, and then I'm like, my eyes, are, my eyes are closed. My vision's black and I'm like slowly coming to my right ear is just like super high pitched ringing. My left ear is muffled and I can just hear people screaming in the distance. And I, I just, I knew right away, as soon as I like was coming to, I was like, holy fuck fuck like I just got fucking blown up and I just my brain knew instantly and I I my immediate thought was just like disbelief I was like there's no fucking way this just happened and I can't see yet and I'm just like struggling to open my eyes and I later to come to find out I mean on top of a fucking you know 20 30 pound bomb detonating like five meters away from me 
someone's CS gas canisters that exploded on all of us. And so on top of the bomb, there's all the CS gas cloud that we're engulfed in. And so none of us can fucking see and are struggling to see. And so I was just like, holy fuck, like I actually just got blown up. And I finally can open my eyes and I'm just like laying on the ground in the dirt, looking to my left and like really close to the fence. Like I, almost, I had almost gotten thrown to like to the fence and uh, I'm like looking to my left. And I mean, there's just where this crowd of hundreds of people was is just flattened, like nothing at all. And I can still hear people just fucking screaming in the distance and yelling. And I look to my left and I mean, one of the first things I see is just fucking Marines laid out, just fucking desert Marpat fucking next to me. And uh, I was just like, oh fuck, like this really just fucking happened. And uh, before I fully like, my brain fully registered everything when I woke up in the hospital, like my mom said I talked for like nine hours straight, but I, I thought uh, um, I was crawling away from my leg and it was someone else's fucking body part just like laying in front of me. Jesus I mean, there was fucking Christ. body parts and dead bodies everywhere. And the people on the other side of the canal just immediately in front of me just got fucking evaporated, just or eviscerated, just gone, just in an instant gone. And then outside of outside of that, just bodies, body parts, fucking guts and pieces of people and human beings. And uh, I was laying on the ground and I mean, I felt like I was on the ground for like a fucking hour. I felt like forever. <clears throat> and uh, almost immediately after the bomb, I, like I was, I was trying to stand up and I couldn't stand up. I could like move my head forward and like move my arm a little bit. And I kept trying to stand up and like, fuck, like, why can't I stand up? And I was like, I'm, I'm fucking hurt. And then it's just like crack, 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 fucking right across from us. So I'm now facing like kind of like the tower, like our, for t the way I'm looking, like my tower, the tower's kind of to the left, the canal's like right here, and then the neighborhood's right here. And we start taking fucking shots from the neighborhood, and, and like almost immediately after the blast. And I, my first thought, I mean, I always say like, <clears throat> we all want to be the hero in our own story, but my first thought in my brain was like, fuck, I'm hurt. And I look down and I'm see, hear, hearing us getting shot at and hearing fucking cracks and impacts behind us and over us. And I'm like, fuck, I can't fire my weapon, I'm fucked up. Like my, my I mean, I had come, come to find out I had gotten hit with 100 to 150 ball bearings. And- um, 150 ball bearings. Yeah, and, and I mean, I took them everywhere, but my neck and my head and oh. my knees down because of that, that wall. Um, <clears throat> and so, I was like, well, fuck, I don't want to get shot. I can't fire back. And I just knew the hole in the fence was behind me. Um, and I tried. I tried my fucking hardest to crawl backwards towards that hole in the fence. And I kept trying to get up, couldn't get up. Um, I don't know how fucking far I got, maybe a couple feet. And uh, I, uh, I was moving backwards. And all I could do was, like, put my left arm on the ground. And I kept trying to lean over onto my right. And I'm just like, fuck, like why is my right arm not working? And I remember lifting it up. I just seen it. It's there, but it's just like fucking shredded up at the elbow and bloody. And I'm, I'm just fucking red everywhere. And I was just all that my thought in my brain, I was like, my arms fucked up. I was like, okay, that's why it doesn't work. And like, just kept fucking going. I wasn't fully processing. Like, Hey, let me fucking put a tourniquet on my arm. I was just like, fuck, I'm, I'm fucked up. And, uh, I need to get to the hole in the fence. Cause that's where my friends are. And, um, Finally, I just, I couldn't move anymore. And I, all I could do is kind of lift my head up. And I mean, I took, I took ball bearings into my fucking chest and it, like right around the cut of my plate carrier, um, into my shoulder, all over my fucking arm, obviously a ton into my abdomen, all over my stomach. I mean, I had, I mean, they were practically from what I've been told, just fucking dumping ball bearings out of my intestines. Um, and all down through, shot out throughout my leg, caught shrapnel into my hand, ball bearings. I mean, they were burning so fast that ball bearings just like burned through my radius, like perfect hole through my radius, didn't even break it. That's how fast they were going. And from the force of the blast, burned through my radius, all into my arm and shoulder. And um, unfortunately, 
the army fucking burned my kit. I didn't get to keep my kit, but uh, I took three ball bearings in my in the lip of my Kevlar, like right above the lip of my Kevlar, right into my forehead. And uh, if that's if that's not a fucking reason to wear your fucking gear, then I don't know what is. But, yeah, I mean that would have fucking killed me, like for sure would have fucking killed me. I gotta um, be honest, man. I can't believe we're sitting here right now. I I can't believe it either, honestly. Um, some <clears throat> some incredible individuals in my line of care, um, you know, and uh, it's it's been a fucking journey. But uh, thankful to be here. 